Now, after the war, it was all seemed very easy. This man, who of course Patrick said who he was, and if you didn't know him, it says at the top, so I can't ask you who he was, General de Gaulle. De Gaulle was the leader of the Free French from London during the war. He came back to France in 1944 when France had been liberated. Who had France been liberated by? Basically by the Americans, the Americans and the British. Well, we give the British a bit of a credit, but all right. But the British and the Americans and indeed the Canadians as well. The role of the French, it has to be said, was relatively limited, though not totally insignificant, but relatively limited. What did the gold come? He came back to Paris, and that's the that's the twenty uh, that's the twenty sixth of August, nineteen forty four. He walks down the he walks in front of that arch, which is the Arc de Triomphe, which is built by Napoleon to celebrate all France's great victories over Europe uh, in the eighteen uh, hundreds. He walks down this arch. There are about a million people there to greet him. It's it's the biggest collection of people in the streets of Paris ever, except when the French won the World Cup, actually. So he walks down, he walks down the Champs Elysees. People are cheering, and he makes a speech, and he says, "France is free again, free thanks to her people, thanks to the spirit of eternal France, thanks to the valiance of the French people, thanks to the resistance of the French people." He never mentions the Canadians, the British, or the Americans. Now, he was no fool, he knew perfectly well, but there was a reason for that. He wanted the French to think better of themselves. He wanted to create a new myth of heroism and national unity. A kind of, he wanted to make himself a sort of Churchill for the French. Now, for many years, from 1944 to 54 to 64 to 74, that was fine. Most French were ready to buy into that. They believed it, they were happy to believe. They had liberated themselves. And then things started to change. A new generation of young French people started to say, well, actually, is this true? What did our parents do in the war? You know, what did you do? Did you, what, what about those Jews who, we'll come back to the Jews later on, what about those Jews who perished in the Second World War in France? Whose fault was that? And a number of films and newspaper articles and historical books came out on the subject. And this is one of the films. Anybody seen this film in the room? Well, I, you have. Uh, a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, I, uh, I don't know whether, you, I'm, I'm not going to ask you to, whether you're going to recommend it or not, because you might say you don't like it, because I think it's wonderful. But I think people should go and see it. It's a film made by a French filmmaker called Louis Mal, M-A-L-L-E, in 1973-74. And it's, the, it's called La Lucien. Lucien. It's about a boy. This young, he's about 17, called Lacan, Lucien Lacan. Lacan's his surname. And it's a very simple story. He's a young, he's actually a farmer. He's a peasant boy. He's, he's uneducated. And really what he's interested in is, is poaching and catching and, and, and hunting and shooting. And, you know, he's not very serious about life and so on. One day, though, he thinks, I'd like to join the resistance. I want to do something and so on. I want to do something. So how do you join the resistance? Well, he hears vaguely that his former school teacher in his primary school in the village had been, is a resistance leader. And he thinks, okay, well, I'll go and find him. So he, he gets on his bicycle and he cycles and he sees the teacher who's in the middle of a class and he says, can I see you after the teacher says, yes. He says, what do you want to do? He says, I want to join the resistance. And the teacher says, no, 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 uh, you know, how, why are you asking me? Well, I hear, uh, no, and nothing to do with this. Anyway, it's not for you. You're too young. It's too dangerous. Just go back. Look after your mother. Look after your farm. Don't get involved. So he's a bit crestfallen, and he sets off home on his bicycle. And on the way home, he has a puncture. And so he finds himself trudging rather disconsolately through the local village after the curfew in the evening with his bicycle. And he sees some Germans. I mean, this isn't that, that scene, but Germans dressed like this in the street, and the Germans are saying, say, what are you doing? Why, wh 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 who are you? They think he's, you know, he shouldn't be out after, after dark, after the curfew. And he, he says, oh, uh, he also doesn't go and say, I went to join the resistance this morning. He's not that stupid. He sort of says, oh, I'm just, I had a puncture. And they, they can see he's pretty harmless, and they say, oh, come on, come and join us. We're having a, we're going to have a drink in the local cafe. And he joins them, and they open champagne, and he has, and by the end of the night, he's a bit drunk, and he's joined the Germans. And he works with the Germans. He gets a nice suit. In fact, he gets a uniform. And here he is. Work. And what does he do? He actually ends up torturing the very teacher that in the morning 
He had gone to sea to join the resistance. Now, what's the point of that film? The point of that film is to show that it's not all so simple, that there are no black and white, well, that, that you know, people don't make simple choices. They don't know what they're going to do. They end, up, they end up by chance, arbitrarily, in one camp or the other. This boy is not a monster in the film. It's actually rather sad that the boy in the film died in real life a year after the film was made, so he never went on to have a, a career. It's a wonderful performance. He, he, he's not a monster. He's just a lost boy in a complicated situation who doesn't really know what's good, what's bad, what resistance is, what collaboration. And he ends up as a collaborator. And he ends up torturing his former schoolmaster to death. Well, not, well, to, to, anyway, very badly. So that's my point. That's what I want to investigate, the complexities of the choices that people made or did not make in this period.